When the pluripotent hematopoietic stem cells of the bone marrow are stimulated by the hormone erythropoietin, this causes them to differentiate through a number of stages, such as proerythroblast reticulocytes, to become the red blood cells or erythrocytes. During this process, the nucleus is ejected from uh, the cell, and the cells uh, become primarily filled with the, the protein hemoglobin, which will transport oxygen. The stem cells of the bone marrow can also be stimulated by cytokine hormones. These are local hormones which only travel short distances to their target cells. Cytokines can stimulate these stem cells to form a type of white blood cell known as neutrophils. Neutrophils uh, attack bacteria primarily and can be identified by the multiple lobes of their nucleus, typically between four and six, and the fine lilac uh, granules which are specialized lysosomes in their cytoplasm. Stem cells can also be stimulated to form eosinophils. This type of white blood cell is literally named the eosin lover. Eosin is a red stain. So in addition to their bilobed or S-shaped nucleus, they can be recognized by their large lysosomes which take up this red stain eosin, eosin uh, and therefore they are the only white blood cell after the right stain which has large red granules in its cytoplasm. Basophils are white blood cells uh, which also develop from uh, cytokine stimulation of the stem cells of the bone marrow. They uh, can form a bilobed uh, nucleus, but this nucleus typically is not visible because of the presence of large uh, dark purple staining lysosomes or granules uh, which will mediate the inflammatory response. So these white blood cells help to mediate uh, inflammation the basophils. Some of the white blood cells which form in the bone marrow are larger than normal. A monocyte can be two to two and a half times the size of a red blood cell. Upon leaving the, the blood vessels, as we'll see later, it can become even larger. Monocytes are called agranulocytes because they do not develop granules in their cytoplasm and have a kidney-shaped nucleus. Lymphocytes develop from these bone marrow stem cells. Uh, these are small cells, typically the size of a red blood cell or smaller, and they have very little cytoplasm with their uh, nucleus composing the majority of the cell. They are responsible for the incredibly complex uh, reactions of the acquired immune response, which we will discuss later. Some bone marrow cells develop into cells which are absolutely huge. They are called megakaryocytes or even metamegakaryocytes. They have far more chromosomes than normal cells. They uh, replicate their chromosomes without dividing. So they may have 8, 16, 32, 64 copies of each chromosome. They uh, form the platelets, the tiny fragments of their cytoplasm which are responsible for clotting. 